What's going on everyone? Hope you're having a great day. I figured we would do a nice early video today so I don't interrupt your Super Bowl plans, but I will say, go Rams. Okay, now on to the point of the video. So we've talked a lot about dealer lifted trucks. Trucks you actually buy from the dealership that they install lift wheels and tires and whatever else on. Um, we've talked about some pros and cons, you know, where you could save money, what you got to look out for. And every manufacturer does it, okay? Um, it's not every dealership that does it, but a lot of dealerships do it. And there are just people in this world that feel like uh, that they could just get the truck from the dealership and they don't have to go through all that extra stuff of finding someone to install, places to purchase. It is convenient for a lot of people. If it wasn't convenient and people didn't buy it, these dealerships wouldn't do it. So today I just want to go over a couple pros and cons. I found a really good example of what I've been talking about as far as how much a dealer charges and how much if you did it on your own, it would cost and where the savings are. But I found a really good example today. So I'm going to pull up some pictures, show you what I found, and we will go over some of the pricing for it. Okay, so today's example is a 2019 Tundra TRD Sport Double Cab 4x4. And I got to tell you, the truck looks great. Uh, the wheels, the tires on the all-white truck look fantastic. They definitely did a really good job. So what I did was I went online and I basically got some rough estimations. No number is down to the wire, but I kind of just did some estimations on how much each thing they put on the truck would cost if you did it yourself. I rounded up here and there, but this is just to get a general idea of what I'm talking about. So let's get started with the wheels. It looks like they use 20-inch Fuel Mavericks here, which are about $300 a wheel. So $1,200 total. They also used Nitto Grappler G2 in the size of 305, 55, 20. And they're about 326 a tire, so 1304 total. They used the Blackout Badging Overlay Kit, which is roughly $128. There was a TRD Sway Bar on it, which is roughly $210. And it said on the list on the side of the truck that there was a body lift on it. So I went and I researched some body lifts, and I found a bunch of examples from $100 to $400. So I basically put down the cost of $500 for the body lift. So overall, the truck was $4,500, $523. And after 1390 for custom molding, uh, pinstriping, and then another 8495 for the wheels, the tires, and the lift, the total came out to $55,408. Okay, so $55,408 was the sticker price after all the work they did to the truck. Now, the pricing I just gave you in that was the little bit of research I did online and how much it would cost if you did it yourself. So after basically, we'll go over the numbers one more time, $1,200 for the Fuel Maverick 20 inch wheels, 1304 for the Nitto Grapplers, the blacked out badging is 128, 210 for the TRD Sway Bar, and we're saying the body lift was $500. That equals $3,342. And then I added some money for tax and install, so we'll say $4,000. $4,000 it would cost you, roughly, rough numbers. So $84.95 they were charging, you could get it for $4,000. So it really comes down to, do you want the convenience of just going to the dealership, getting the truck ready to go, drive off, and you're all said and done, or do you enjoy the build? But that's kind of the difference in pricing. It's about $4,500 difference in pricing right there. I really want to hear what you guys think. Do you feel like that's just way too much? Again, this isn't a Toyota thing. This is all brands. Everybody does this. And like I said, they wouldn't do it if there wasn't a market for it. So let me know what you think. Twitter and Instagram at TundraDude34, TundraDude34 at gmail.com. Got to tell you, that truck did look pretty good, though. Take care.